In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the very simple guide to safely optimize your AMD and NVIDIA GPU to boost your FPS and optimize the performance without affecting the life of your GPU. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Go to my website, I give link in description. Download the program from here and follow me for settings. Okay, so the first thing you have to do in here uh, is you have to go back to your afterburner and then set your power limit and temperature limit to maximum. Now this will not affect your GPU life or damage it anyway. This will just allow your GPU to run on its max potential. And so basically, this will allow your GPU to draw maximum power from your power supply that your GPU can handle. By default, it is set to 100, and that is just a safe limit because your GPU will never consume power more than 100, but in case you are doing heavy duty, gaming, or rendering, you have to set it to 111. Now for the fan speed. I highly recommend you guys do not leave it automatic. Set it to 75 or anywhere near 75 because anywhere above 75 will make it much more noisy. And if you do not like noisy, and then I highly recommend you guys to set it to 75. 75 and speed according to me, gives you better cooling to performance ratio without a much sound. So I guess 75 is good. Once you have set these settings over here, the fan and fan speed settings, I highly recommend you guys to save it to a slot for me. I'm going to save it to my slot, no, one, and then click on this section, which says apply on Windows startup. This will automatically allow my windows to set the fan settings just after my Windows boots up. So, you don't have to do this type over and over. Now coming to our basic GPU configuration setup. That is our clock setup. Now in here by default, your clock will be set to zero, as well as your memory clock will be set to zero. First you have to start up with your core clock, with the increments of 20, T from 200 FPS, even to 205 FPS. You can even go up to 40. That will give you much more FPS. So, you guys can see now it goes more above 205 FPS. So, you can see now we're going up to 211 FPS. So, as you can see, I was previously running this OpenGL rendering at almost 190 to 200 FPS. And now it's going up to 2 to 5. You can increment the core clock values and until your combustor crashes or your monitor goes black. Or even your PC crashes, and even if it all crashes, there's no harm. And after you boot it up, it will automatically be set to O. As you guys can see, I can increment it to 100 without put any um loss of FPS or without any crashing. You can check out your limit by implementing it the same way. And if anything crashes, then you can always Set it to minus 30 or minus 40 of the same range. To say if my computer runs maximum at 140. And after that it crashes. So I have set it to 100 so why you should. Never set it to the maximum limit of core clock. Is because whenever you're gaming. The game will give strain on your GPU. And if your GPU you cannot handle that strain. It will automatically crash. And you don't want your game to be crashing. So you have to set it to minus 40 or minus 30 of your maximum limit. So, your game can run without any crashing. Once you have set your core clock, now this is a safe core clock, which will not damage the life of your GPU. Then you have to set your memory clock. And to increase memory clock, you can again start up with the increment of 20s. Now I have set my memory clock to 70 because this is my safe limit. And you can check your safe limit until your programs crash and do not worry, even if it crashes, it's completely safe. It's a normal process. Nothing will go wrong. Your GP won't catch on fire so. So, you can do it, but do it safely. In the whole process, you have to make sure to keep an eye on the GPU temperature. As I said in the start, because temperature plays an important role while processing the gameplay or graphics. So, GPU works two ways. First is the, uh, the speed of your GPU that you set on clock. And second is the heating of the graphics card any graphic card will run slower if it's much heated. So, you have to make sure that you keep an eye on the temperatures. The normal temperature that your GPU can run is somewhere between 75 to 85 degrees Celsius. Anywhere above that is how. So, you have to adjust your fan speed or lower your clocks again 
so I highly recommend you guys to check it. Now I'm running it on 75 degrees, and that is absolutely safe on 97% load. So, once you have set your best overclock speeds, you can click on save and set it to profile no. 2. So whenever you are playing the game, you can switch to profile no. 2. And when you're not playing the game, you can switch to profile no. 1. That is just the power limits. Next up is always make sure that you have your GPU temperature in control. That is between 75 to 85 degrees Celsius. That's a safe limit of a GPU. Anywhere above 85 degree is harmful. This won't give you the performance as well as UH decrease the lifespan of your graphics card. So I highly recommend you guys to keep it in the safe limit. Even if it takes to increase the fan speed, I recommend you guys to do it. So that's how you are done with the overtroking of your graphics card. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out during my channel. Also do leave your specs in the comments below and I will help you guys to get better performance on your PC. Also do leave a comment down below on what videos should I make next. It really helps me out finding topics for you guys. And with all that said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned and peace out.